Hey there everybody, uh, Decaf here with uh, the continuation of our project. Uh, so last time we were able to do the tail of our 737. Uh, so let's work on the belly now. Uh, there's a couple ways that we can do this, but I like to work uh, primarily by looking from the side. So let's uh, start off by looking at a really handy tool. Uh, let's uh, select the fuselage here and if you uh, go to your number pad and press the divide by key what that does is it isolates any object you have selected so now instead of the whole model I have just my fuselage so I could select a couple of different things here I could also select this t first the leading edge of the tail and I'd get just these things in here and this is a very very uh, handy way to isolate key things that we want to work on. So let's just work on the fuselage for now and let's go ahead and take a look at our model. So here we are and what we're trying to do here is figure out well, where does this line exist and there's a couple things that we want to look at. Well, Number one it's below the uh, bend in the wing and it also uh, is pretty low down here. It's maybe a door thickness up from the leading edge there of the nose uh, wheelhouse. So we're probably looking at something oh, right about in here. So let's go back to the textured mode, go into edit mode. So we're probably looking at something right about there. So what we can do here is go over how we can make things uh, nice and easy to work with. Uh, so let's go ahead and make our first cut. We're going to start off, oh, let's try there. Now I'm holding down control because that allows me to select an individual vertex to start my modeling from, to make the cut from. Uh, and then I'm also going to click the middle mouse button and just drag this on down. There we go. So now that we have the base cut put in there, now we have to do some cleanup work. Uh, this is where most of your work is going to go when you are uh, working with these things. Now there's things that we want to avoid. Uh, primarily it's when we start getting uh, things like this, where we have very, very close vertices. Now these are probably okay, but we're going to really make sure that it's gonna work out. So what we're gonna do here is mess around with the vertices where they are. And what we're gonna do is merge the vertices together. So I have this one selected right here. It's highlighted in yellow. And I'm, then I'm gonna select this one over here, press the W key, select merge, and then I'm gonna select merge at last. And what that does is it merged that vertice, those two vertices at the last one. So what that does is it doesn't affect the shape of the model at all, except for removing those vertices. Now, because those vertices were all in that one plane over there, it doesn't matter. So let's do that again here. And now we're all set. They're overlapping a little bit there, but that's fine. So let's go ahead and do this again for this side. And we're going to select two of the vertices over here. Select our final one. And there we go. It's this little cleanup stuff that really makes the difference between a really messy model and a really clean model. The key thing to remember here is that you don't want to change the shape of your original cut. So for example, this section right here, although it's small, I'm going to have to keep it because the original mesh goes up there and then my cut is this line right here. So I'm gonna to have to sacrifice a little bit there in order to keep it. Keep my uh, my straight cut going across. Now over here this is where we can start to fiddle with this a little bit more. So I am going to go ahead and merge that into there. And Let's leave it like that for now. Go ahead and change the other side real quick. 
There we go. Oops. Let's actually go ahead and do this a little bit differently. Let's merge it to the end there. There we go. Looks a little bit better. Also going to take care of that there. And take care of this there. There we go. Now you can see that this is starting to come together. Now, because I was only working on one side, I got to make sure that the other side is okay as well. Uh, so let's work over here. Move these guys together. And there we go. Now this is really coming together well. So all these merging the vert vertices is really important in order to clean up the model. If we go back into our solid mode, we can see where these things start to break it down. So you can see this weird sh shading right there, which is a result of having these guys there. So why don't we just merge this right into there, and then merge these guys right there. Now this will look a little bit weird. If we go back into textured mode, it'll be coming down a little bit here, but that's okay. It's the tail end, and it's really not going to be noticed that much. So now let's go ahead and paint this. There we go. Now this time we don't want to select the entire fuselage and paint it whatever color it needs to be. Uh, that's not going to be very efficient. So we're going to do some uh, control loop selecting. And let's go back and look at our model, try to get a good gray for this. And right here, that seems to be pretty good. So let's go in digital color mode again. And we're going to want to write these numbers down as well. So we have 36.4, 40.4, and 46.4. There we go. Close out of that, go back into Blender. And we're going to type these numbers right in. Oops, got to remember the decimal point. It's very important to remember. Now, if you mess up where the decimal point goes and then you have a value greater than one here don't worry about it blender will just say hey you messed up uh, go back and fix it uh, won't actually say it but it will uh, give you an error so let's uh, start painting now uh, what I'm gonna do is go back into edit mode go back and move into the face mode and start control loop selecting a lot of these faces. This will save a lot of time. Now for the little itty bitty ones you might just go in and individually select them if it's getting a little bit difficult there. So ones right around the edges can be a little bit harder to select but don't worry too much. Okay, so we have a few one that wound about outside. So just by uh, clicking them again, we can deselect those. And let's just make sure we have that. There we go. And now let's go into our vertex paint mode. Hit tab to go back into it, since it's the last mode that we were in before edit mode. And we're going to set those colors. So there we are. There's our lovely fuselage. Uh-oh. Now we see that we have another object here. This is the little bulge that connects the wings together to the fuselage, and that hasn't been painted. Well, how do we deal with this? Well, one thing you could do is uh, merge these two objects together with Control J. And what that would do is now they're all one object that we can edit together. But I hesitate to do that. Oops. There we go. Uh, just because it may, you can't undo it very easily once you get into editing that. So what I will do is isolate these two together, and I am only going to edit this one right here. I'm going to select everything, and we're going to want to do a cut, an exact cut. 
And this is where our middle mouse button going straight across is very helpful. There we go. Because now it's pretty much exactly on the line. It's a little bit off, but it's pretty darn close. So it's fine. Now, uh, let's see how many for, uh, uh, how many faces are going to be grayed. A lot of them, actually. So we're going to uh, go into vertex paint mode, select them all, and make it all gray. And then go back and select each of these guys. That needs to be turned back to white. Now we're going to have a few small vertices in there. Uh, for a few vertices really close together. So it might be worth going in and touching this up. But for time, uh, I'm not going to do that right now. Just when you're doing that, you want to make sure that you are very careful and not mess up the uh, outline shape. So you only want to edit the ones that are in the same plane as each other. So if we're looking straight on here, we can see that right along there, everything is basically in one plane. It's so any changes in there wouldn't really affect the 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 overall shape of the model. So let's go ahead and sample the white there, and we'll say okay. Go back, and there we go. There is our belly, all painted. Now there's a couple things that we're going to have to do with editing the various doors here, um, but they're all going to be just about like um, doing this and just function of going straight across and getting as close as we can. So I uh, hope this was very helpful. Uh, remember when you merge your different uh, vertices together, be very careful. You don't want to um, mess up the shape of the uh, model itself. Uh, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Go in, do your edits, check it. Okay, maybe I did something wrong. Undo, undo, undo. Let's try it again. Don't be afraid to spend a lot of time working on this. Just because you don't get it in the first try doesn't mean that you can't get it right. So let's uh, go ahead and save this. And there we go. There is our airplane. All nice and pretty. <laughs> Not yet. It's coming there. So next week, uh, we're going to work on, or next time, next video, whenever that happens to come out, uh, we're going to work on the engines, and I'm going to show you how to use some scripts uh, that are built in with Wise Flight Blender that make painting really easy. So uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them down below. And as always, happy modding.